Mania. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to uh, King of the Hammers 2021. Nate's like, who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> Nate here, Dirt Lifestyle. He's uh, fueling up the old Jeep. How's it going? It's going all right. Pretty miserable. Uh, it's not, It's if it looks as awkward as it feels, and it should look pretty awkward. Yeah, it looks pretty awkward. We've been out here for, what, like three, four days now? Yeah, something like that. I'm losing track, but... I think three, yeah. Yeah, you guys should definitely check out the previous episode. We went out with Busted Knuckle Off Road. Last night, we were gonna do a full night run video and it just didn't work out in our favor. Rubber Ducky TJ's Jeep broke down. We ended up towing him back and he's still over there trying to figure it out. So we might go take a look at that. Yeah, then we'll yeah. go wheel in a barn four wheel drive. Man, Ryan's had a, a rough trip a couple nights ago. He put it on its side, cracked the windshield, did a little bit of damage to the A-pillar. Uh, I mean, that's what this thing's for, but it's never fun to, uh, to damage it. And now he's having some kind of sensor or engine issues. I'm not really caught up on what's been going on. I've been editing like crazy, trying to get this footage out to you guys as fast as I can. So Nate and I just made it to the BFG garage and met the owners of Barnes Four Wheel Drive. We're gonna go out. That was the owner, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nate had a couple hard sneezes and his voice is totally gone. I lost my voice. <laughs> it's all the dirt and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Made a it's great like that. first impression. <laughs> that guy is buff as fuck! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. What's up? Been a lot of those this trip. I think it's coming in right there. Shit. Yeah. Just the charge. So, you know, that's what got the intercooler wet. Yep. You know, like I said, there's always a little bit of oil at the bottom of these. Mm. So that's. Yeah, the, yeah, the charge pipe just fell off. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to a little trail fix. A little trail fix. Yeah. <clears throat> Bear with me. I have a charge pipe that uh, slipped, so no big deal. Yeah. We're, we're pulling too much boost, apparently. So much sweet boost. Is that what happened to your voice too? Yep, I was pulling too much boost, and then uh, my voice went out, so <laughs> it's pretty manly, really. So this is actually one of the easier trails I've seen since I've been out here, uh, but it will get harder as we get higher up. These guys are in their company rig, so we just want to get out, stretch the legs a little bit, nothing too crazy, but Nate definitely wants to get in some crazy stuff, so stick around because that's going to be coming up. I think he's ready to go all out. Oh really? My Tacoma is certainly capable of getting up stuff like this, but it just doesn't have the control. A lot of that's driver, but a lot of it's just the way it's set up. 
It has a 529 gearing, which is nice and low, but it's still real punchy. Um, it doesn't have that real low low that Nate has that allows those big ass 40s to just float over everything. That's the other big problem. 35s, seems like a big tire for a Tacoma. It's just not big enough to get through this kind of stuff with ease. It can do it, but it's gonna be hard on it. It's gonna be hard on everything. Once we get that four wheel drive fixed, we get the transfer case in there. That truck's gonna be a whole different animal. We're gonna, we're gonna do a lot to it. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Over the years, Nate has put a considerable amount of work into his Jeep. He swapped the motor with a Volkswagen TDI out of a 2006 Volkswagen Jetta. It's a diesel motor tuned to about 180 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque. His suspension is home-built. The front is a three-link and the rear is a semi-triangulated four-link. Bilstein coilovers in the rear with Bilstein triple bypass shocks in the front. The front axle is a Dana 44 high pinion from a 1976 Ford F-150 with 30-spline RCVs, 5.38 gears, and a Yukon zip locker. In the rear, he has a Ford 9 inch based housing that he hand fabricated himself. It has a Yukon third member, 5.38 gears, and is upgraded to 35 spline axle shafts. The transfer case is a four speed Atlas with a 5.44 to one low range. With a torquey diesel motor and massive 40 inch BFD tires, this thing crawls effortlessly over massive boulders. Unfortunately, it must be trailered to and from the trail. While a little bit closer to stock, the Barnes four-wheel drive Jeep is no slouch. It's a 2012 JK. It's running Dana 44's front and rear, trussed, sleeved, and gusseted with Barnes four-wheel drive parts. All the armor is from Barnes four-wheel drive Pritchett Canyon series. It's running 35 spline RCV shafts, ARB front and rear lockers, 37-inch DFG KM3s, and Method Trail series wheels. With a setup like this, they have the convenience of being able to drive on and off the highway to and from the trails. But with its longer wheelbase, its smaller tires, its stock motor, it's not quite as capable as Nate's Jeep, which you would come to expect after all of the work that Nate put into his Jeep. I got a baby a little, I got about 2,500 miles in front of me, I gotta get through with this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta drive it home. I think that, I think it's trickier yeah, right here actually. This is the ledge. <laughs> well, the left doesn't look as bad as it would last year. Now we're getting to the good stuff now. So he could either go left up the dirt road, but knowing Nate, he's gonna go on all these boulders.
Oh my God, this rock is inside me. Oh! All right, who wore it better? Jeep or Toyota? That Toyota's sick. Nobody? Nobody? <laughs> Nobody? It's just me, Lorelai, and Jesse, the whole gang. Yeah, come to Papa Moon. Ha, ha, ha. 